The key word in Washington these days is new. A new president, a new Congress, and a newly restored Capitol Dome. Here is our Power Player of the Week. What kind of shape was the dome in? The dome was in terrible shape. It's a bucket of rust. Stephen Ayers is the architect of the Capitol, and in 2014, he faced a big problem. The Capitol Dome, symbol of American democracy, was falling apart. The cast iron structure was built during the Civil War, but the project Lincoln pursued to show the strength of our union was in trouble. There were 1,300 cracks in the dome, each of them representing a water leak. So Ayers led a $97 million restoration that took two and a half years. They put up 25 levels of scaffolding around the dome, one million pounds, with what amounted to 52 miles of pipe. And we're about to enter the interstitial space, the space between the inner dome and the outer dome. Ayers took us behind the scenes to see the remarkable work his team of 1,000 did. First, taking off all the paint, going back to the 1860s. On the outside of the dome, there were 13 layers of lead-based paint. There we go. Then they removed the pieces that had rusted away. They closed those hundreds of cracks using something called a lock and stitch technique, not unlike a surgeon stitching up a wound. And while all that was going on, they set up a half million pound scaffold to repair the separate cast iron rotunda. Ayers took us to the very top inside. From this level all the way to the ground was completely scaffolded and we took all of the paint off of the rotunda, repaired all of the cast iron cracks that were in here and repainted it and took that scaffolding work down. Finally, after climbing through that space between the inner and outer domes, we reached the top. So here we are outside. Wow. And this is the National Mall. This is a view you don't see any place else in this city. But the decay of the dome started at the top. This space was in the worst shape. In fact, this balustrade was completely rusted out, was completely rebuilt and shipped back. From up here, we could see Ares's new project, building the platform for the January inauguration. He says they're a month ahead of schedule. In September, Donald Trump questioned whether they would get the dome restoration finished on time whether the scaffolding would be gone. I told him, I said, why don't you just move faster? Work faster. When Trump said that, did you take that as a kind of challenge? I'll pass. <laughs> and standing at the top of the newly restored Capitol Dome, that sort of controversy disappears. Not only are we preserving our nation's history, but we're also creating history at the same time. This dome has been here 150 years, and if we've done our job right, it'll be here another 150 years. And there's one more thing Donald Trump will like. Ayers says the dome restoration project came in ahead of schedule and under budget.